Now it looks like we are just about to set up. Uh, our host, Adrian South, is with today's quickie player of the game, Janet McLaughlin. Adrian? All right, thanks, Tim. I am joined by Janet McLaughlin, the quickie, dip, or the, the quickie player of the game. You had 21 points in Canada's 63-25 win over Brazil. How are you feeling about the win? It feels great. Uh, we, w we knew this game would be tough to, to start with, and we wanted to come out and play our game. We struggled a bit for the first couple minutes, but then we pulled together, and we, we did what we wanted to do today. What are some things that worked in this game for you guys? I think especially in the second half, our defense was much better. I think they had eight, eight points in the second half, and that was something we really wanted to concentrate on. And we moved the ball well, and that's another that's something that will take us farther in the next few games. So, uh, One of the things I think they were talking about earlier um, for the Keys was communication. Do you guys feel you had good communication throughout this game? Yeah, we did. We were talking about switches. We were talking about who we were guarding, and I think it was... It, you know, it faltered at times, but that always happens, and the key is to, to pull it back together, and, and we did a really good job of that. All right, and what are some things that you're taking from this game, improving on for the next one, if anything? I mean, you can always be better at everything, right? So you never play a perfect game, and so we'll, we'll continue to, to concentrate on our defensive rotations, moving the ball, getting good shots. Those are all things we need to, we really need to focus on, especially the defense for the next few games. All right, well, thank you very much. Congratulations on uh, being the quickie player of the game and on the win. That is Janet McLaughlin, 21 points in this Canadian win over Brazil. With that, I'll send things back to Tim and Rob in the broadcast booth. Thanks, Adrian.